So why is the stock market down today? Hi, my name is Dan and welcome to the channel Invest with Dan. The stock market is experiencing an earnings season that has left many companies gasping for breath. But more importantly, they left us investors cringing at opening our brokerage accounts. Blue chip and powerhouse companies like Amazon, Google, Upstart, Teladoc, Etsy, Netflix, Disney, they've all been dropping like Beyonce. But why? In this video, I want to talk about why the stock market is down today and what the stock market is doing. Okay, so in the past month alone, Amazon is down over 31%. Teladoc is down 55%. Sorry, Kathy Wood. Netflix is down 50%. Upstart is down 62% and even Disney is down 21%. If you look at the companies and the earnings of these companies, their performance actually isn't even that bad. So why are these companies along with almost every other company in every other industry dropping like a free fall jump? So first, one thing to know is that we've come off a norm of abnormal stability that has led too many investors buying the dip. And no, it's not buying a nacho cheese dip. Since 2009, every single time stocks dip, they have always bounced back. And since 2016, no sell-off has lasted more than 90 days. So it's no wonder investors are perplexed why buying a dip is like trying to catch a falling knife now. In 2020, when the pandemic first hit, it also didn't help that the federal government since then has pumped over $2.3 trillion in cash. Now, the idea of helping the struggling economy was great, but it's also why now we have the problem of inflation. This leads us to the second big problem, inflation and the federal government. Inflation surpassed 8% in April. Gas prices surpassed $4 a gallon. You know we have a problem when even McDonald's prices have increased 6%. Sorry, I'm not paying $10 for a Happy Meal. The federal government has to do something about their debt and balance sheet. And indeed they have, just a bit earlier than we all thought. In May, of this year, the federal government raised interest by 50 basis points, or half a percentage. This is the biggest hike in 20 years, and that's only the beginning. Federal Chair Jerome Powell says that there will be multiple basis, 50 basis point hikes throughout the entire year. So what does this mean for us? As you probably have begun to notice, loan rates are getting more and more expensive. Anything tied to interest, such as credit cards, home loans, or any other loans also have increase in interest rates. Essentially, since the pandemic, the federal government has always been on the side of helping the investors. And now it's sort of a reversal of the Fed having to fight inflation by raising interest rates. And so therefore, they're kind of against investors. The third big reason and something nobody could have ever predicted, war and China lockdowns, again. Russia's invasion of Ukraine in February triggered an additional spike in oil and food prices. Nobody could have predicted Russia would invade, but more remarkably, nobody could have predicted that this war would go on for so long. On top of that, ongoing COVID lockdowns in China are likely to only make supply chain disruptions even worse. So what can you do as an investor? It's almost impossible to predict if we found the bottom or if, or if the stock market can go down another 20 to 25%. Have we hit a recession? Not officially yet, but if we did, recessions are actually normal and happen every five to seven years. One thing you can do is to sell positions on any bounce on any companies that you don't have the highest convictions for. Bear markets really expose positions that you regret opening. Warren Buffett once said, if you don't feel comfortable owning a stock for 10 years, you shouldn't own it for 10 minutes. A lot of people wanna wait until their positions come out of the red. But they fail to realize that these times are actually great buying opportunities. The rich are buying up great companies at great prices. When you sell out of a mediocre position and take realized losses, it actually still opens up your buying power to purchase other companies that you have higher convictions for. Warren Buffett also said, the most important thing to do if you find yourself in a hole is to stop digging. So should you hold cash? Absolutely, three to six months for sure in emergency savings so you're not forced to liquidate positions. But having cash also allows you to buy into great companies at a great price. Lastly, don't panic. If you invested into great companies, you can rest knowing that these companies will eventually come back. Well, I hope you enjoy this content, guys. If you like this content, if you want me to make more videos on topics like this, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. And until then, I'll see you around in the next video.